My paper in the IJCP is a perspective on screening asymptomatic men for prostate cancer using the PSA blood test. This test has become a routine part of primary care practice in the United States and apparently is of great interest in Europe as well. What was already known or believed is that this test ought to work. Prostate specific antigen or PSA usually rises above the normal range in men with growing prostate ca cancers and is usually above normal for several years during which the man is still asymptomatic and his cancer is still curable. Use of this screening test in the United States has led to a threefold increase in the diagnosis of prostate cancer, a tenfold increase in radical prostatectomy, and a large increase in the five-year survival from time of diagnosis. What my perspective explains is why this test, in fact, does not work. Most prostate cancers grow so slowly in aging men that they are harmless unless discovered and treated. The apparent benefits of screening in uncontrolled trials are due to overdiagnosis of dormant cases and to bias. And recently published controlled trials have shown these benefits to be non-existent. They have further proven that by far the most common outcome of screening is unnecessary treatment. The argument is made to encourage future research for this important disease, but to suspend the harmful use of PSA screening.